I'm still in shock. I just, I can't believe I'm waiting for him to walk through the door. Trisha Lee is having trouble coming to grips with the death of a man she calls her brother. Jake Waters grew up in Paola, and like many of the victims in this tragic case, he's survived by three children, all boys who range in age from 9 to 14. He was a wonderful man that would do anything for his friends and family. He would drop everything just to be there for you. He loved his kids. Friends call Waters a hard worker. He knew one of the other victims, Mike Caps, because the two did stucco work together as part of a construction crew. Brandy Light says Waters was looking for work and had overcome personal problems when his life was cut all too short. Jake's got the, the best work, work ethic of anybody I've ever known. Um, Jake's a hard worker and he made some wrong choices. And life was getting better though. Life, he was on the right track. Light says she knew of the man in custody, Pablo Serrano Vitorino, because of what she calls minor issues Caps was having with him, things like arguing over parking. Unbelievable, unbelievable that five men now have lost their lives over that. Like the other victims' families in this case, those who knew Waters say nothing justifies the pain so many surviving children and other loved ones now have to endure. John Pepitone, Fox 4 News, working for you in Paola, Kansas.